Welcome into another one-on-one -on -one presented by Toyota with rookie defensive lineman Eric Armstead. Eric, we spoke right after the draft. It's been five months since then. You've gone through a rookie camp, OTAs, training camp, preseason, and now three weeks into your rookie season. I mean, has it flown by? What's this experience been like so far? Yeah, time has flown by. Uh, like you said, looking back at it, I didn't realize that was five months ago. And Everything's moving fast, but you know I'm getting comfortable around my teammates and my coaches and getting settled in. Has there been the biggest surprise, or maybe a biggest learning experience so far? A lot of stuff, you know, it's a completely new experience, a once in a lifetime. You know, it's an adjustment from going to college to, you know, being a professional now. Just the, the business aspect of other things now and, um, you know, realizing it's, it's big time now and it's, it's not college anymore. That's probably been, you know, the biggest adjustment. What about a, a biggest challenge? Is it maybe the balance of, of everything going on and all, all the demands of being a professional football player? Yeah, that's, that's pretty challenging. Um, dealing with off the field stuff and on the field, trying to balance those things. All the stuff you have to take care of, you know, being you know more of a grown up now than I was in college and having a lot more responsibility. Have you had any teammates that have helped you with stuff like that and kind of given you some tips of the trade of, of how to manage your time? And the whole the whole D line group has embraced me and I ask them a bunch of questions. And I love learning from them on and off the field. And if I have any questions, they're they're always there to help me. In week three, you uh, sacked Carson Palmer. The first time Palmer's been sacked all season, and also your first career sack. Is it nice to get that one out of the way? It was big. Um, you know, it was huge for me to get my first career sack. The game didn't end up the way we wanted to, but that was, a, you know, my first sack in my career and, you know, hope to have many more. We played 12 plays week one, 14 week two, 18 week three, so you see your role growing a little bit. And I know these last two weeks the score hasn't been what you've wanted it to, but do you see that as an opportunity where things might be shuffling in the lineup and opportunities are going to arise that might be one for you as well to continue to see more snaps on Sundays? You know, I'm going to control what I can control and that's going out there playing hard as I can, trying to make plays, help my team you know, win games. So whenever they, they throw me out there, that's what I'm going to try to do. Coach Tom Sula said when you, when you got here, rush the passer, stop the run is what you wanted from you. When you watch the tape now, where's an area where you feel like you want to see yourself continue to improve throughout your rookie season? Both those areas, like you mentioned, becoming a better pass rusher and being more effective in the run game. You know, I'm young and I have a lot to improve on and a lot more room to grow in, in all aspects of my game. When you're working inside, not necessarily rushing around the edge, what's the key to pass rushing and getting around guys? It's being quick. Uh, there's tight spaces in there when you're inside and, you know, on the edge, you have a little more time to set up moves and things like that. So as being physical and violent and quick in those tight spaces. When you made your trip here after you got drafted, the day after the draft, took your tour of the facility, of the stadium and all that, your family came out with you. You're from Sacramento. Have they come to all the games so far and will they, will they be here all season? A part of my family has been at every game so far, so that's, that's good support to have. I went home on our day off back to Sacramento just for the day, so having them close is huge for me. Your brother Armin also played in the NFL. Does he provide any kind of words of wisdom? Obviously, he's probably looking at the tape and watching the games a little bit of different eye than your mom and dad and other friends might be. My brother is an excellent football player, a smart mind, and he helps me out. We watch film together, study people, and uh, he'll give me tips, things like that. So uh, he's been a huge help to me uh, throughout the season and has been uh, my whole football career. What's he been telling you uh, these last couple weeks? You know, stay focused, continue to grind. He always told me that before I got to. And I felt that it was going to be a grind, but he always knew I was going to be successful. So he's always motivating me, um, you know, to get to where I want to get. After two road games, is it going to be nice to come back home to Levi Stadium? It's good playing in Levi in front of the fans and the people uh, in this community. You know, it's always good playing at home. So you get to chase around Aaron Rodgers this week. Obviously a difficult task, but is that something you're looking forward to, chasing around one of the best in the league? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, they have a good offensive line, good quarterback, good offense in general. So. It's going to be a challenge for us, but I'm excited uh, for it. My first time playing against them, so it's going to be huge.